So I have to say that the last few weeks have actually been really, really good. There's been a positive change. Instead of this anxiousness, it's been replaced with peace. And it's because of a few things that have been going on that that I, some, some steps that I've been making in my life to make it better. So a couple of weekends ago, I directed a short film with a couple of friends. The film is called Simon. I did it with my friends David and Kelsey, and I'm hoping to be able to release it soon. I'm uh, doing a little bit of tweaking before I put it online, but uh, the, it was for a competition called the AT&T Create-A-Thon. Now, in the past, I've, I've done very well with contests and competitions, from the 48-hour film project to the Doritos Crash the Super Bowl competition. And this was no, no different. We placed second in our screening group and top four overall out of about 50 plus entries. But the important thing for me was this is the first project that I've directed in about 10 years. The last decade or so, I've focused on producing and, and a little bit of writing. And recently, I've realized that I want to get back into the director's chair to actually come up with the shots, to actually mold the story hands-on instead of on a big picture level. So this was important for me to not just get back into the flow of things, but with our placement, it was actually a big indicator for me that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a direction I should be going. It validated my work. It validated where I want to go and what I want to do in this industry. So that was the first thing that was really good. The second is I've been talking a lot lately about quitting my job. I've been talking about it in my last couple of vlogs that I want to and then I hadn't yet. And finally, after weeks and months of agonizing over this, waiting for the right time, I finally, a week and a half ago, talked to my boss and quit my job. The reason I hadn't done it sooner was I was waiting for something else to come along to replace my income, to make it a smooth, easy transition where I'm not going to possibly lose my apartment or not be able to feed myself or Hudson, my dog. And I'm gonna tell you that that was the wrong decision. While there is nothing wrong with the job I was at on a whole level, it wasn't right for me. It wasn't healthy for me to be there because I had a split focus. I was so focused on entertainment and my vlog and directing and getting that career back on track that when work did come down the pipeline, which that was part of the problem I had at work, was I a lot of times had nothing to do but couldn't spend that time really working on my stuff. So when the stuff would come down the pipeline, I would have to shift focus because I was thinking about this over here and not this over here. Also, I wasn't going to be able to get this fully off the ground until I was able to fully focus on this as well. So a week and a half ago, I walked into my boss's office and I gave him my two week notice. I only have two days left to go, Monday and Tuesday, and then I am free. Already I feel so much better. I feel like a weight is off my shoulders. I feel rejuvenated and, and ah, I feel great. For the longest time, people would ask me, how are you doing? And I'd say, I'm doing okay because I had some good and some bad. But for the first time in a while, I'm able to tell people I'm great. I feel like I'm actually going the direction I'm supposed to be going. By the way, if you're wondering what this is on the edge of my wrist, it is the leash for my dog, Hudson. Come up here. This little mongrel, this little guy is with me down in San Diego today. Oh great, he smells my sandwich. The day after I gave my notice, I did something that I've been wanting to do for an entire year. And that was to take the FAA remote, uh, remote pilot 
airman knowledge exam. And I, I've literally been wanting to do it for an entire year since I got my drone and I was afraid to. Knowing that I was going to quit my job, I was going to have to have something that I could get hired to do or could make money doing relatively quickly. And that was to fly my drone. By the way, I, I passed it. I passed it and I'm now a certified commercial drone operator. Now that I've passed it, I can sell my footage on stock footage websites or I can make money other ways by getting hired for film and TV crews. There's a lot of different options. Hudson, are you gonna, are you, are you trying to sniff my, my, my sandal? No, this is, this is mine. That, that's my, that's my drink too. These are for me. I might give you a bite. Maybe not. No. <laughs> you are a goofball. Mm. So those are three reasons why I've been doing good lately, why I've been having a good time. I've, I've been positive, I've been energized, I've been happy because I quit my job, I passed my exam, and I directed a short film that was positively received, and hopefully you'll see it soon and you'll enjoy it as well. But see, here's, here's the thing, even with all of the positive things, all of the great things that have been going on lately. Today is still a very somber day. Today would have been my mom's 61st birthday. And as I've mentioned a couple of videos back, she passed away this last August, shortly after her 60th birth, well, a few months after her 60th birthday, after fighting with a terminal wound for several months going to meet up with my brother and my dad later and we're going to scatter her ashes in a park um, near where we spent much of our lives growing up. We know that her, her spirit has been gone since the moment she passed away and her, her body is just a shell but there's, there's a finality to doing this, to putting her remains to rest, um, almost like final goodbye in a sense even though we've already done that it's just I'm not gonna lie last night before driving down here it it I, I had a moment and um, and I wept because I thought about all of this great stuff that's been going on the, the film and the, the quitting the job and the drone license and even posting these vlogs, I so miss being able to send the links to her and seeing what she thought and getting, you know, her to just to tell me that how much she enjoyed them and and you know, getting a mother's approval may seem like it's not not a big deal, but but it is, and I'm gonna miss that. And for a moment last night, I was I was struggling with with missing my mother. Right now we are in a race against the sun. It sets in 25 minutes. It's already behind the mountain. And we want to be able to get up and get back before it's too dark. Yep, there we go, Kwai Pei Peak Trail. Hear that, Hudson? No urination or defecation. I'm sure that's meant for humans. I say we go this way and go up. I'd for that. Yeah, we picked a picked a difficulty level three trail to go up. <sighs> And I definitely see why. But Hudson's taking it okay. 
All these stairs. Oh God. I think we're almost there. I see this is it. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Sean? a moment. cameras earlier when we actually um, got ready to spread the ashes just because I felt like that was a moment I wanted to keep within my family and those immediately there. Originally we had wanted to spread my mom's ashes somewhere else at this this tree in Balboa Park that had some significance for us because she had written, uh, it was a tree, a big tree that we had played on, I think a fig tree or something like that, and we had played on it as kids, and we always called it the kitty tree, and then my mom wrote a story about the kitty tree. She never published it, but it still held significance to us and her, and so that's originally we wanted to spread them there, but there's a complete um, ban on scattering ashes in Balboa Park. This option where we went today, overlooking Santee where um, I spent my years growing up. So it's uh, my mom spent a lot of years here in Santee. It was home for her. So we found this place and, and it, was, it was looking over, over Santee and, and you could see the mountains in the background and the, the sun, the golden light from, of the sun from behind us was shining on the mountains to the east of the city. And it was just, it was beautiful. It wasn't what we originally had planned, but I think I think it was the right place. And and again, her her body, you know, her her spirit is gone from her body long before now. This is more for us than anything else. But it it was a way for us to honor my mother one last time with where we placed her ashes. So that's done. Um, my dad got a little emotional. I, I was fine. I was emotional last night before I came down. I don't know about my brother. We're about to go have dinner with my aunt, and um, which is my mom's sister, and um, my uncle and cousin, my dad, my brother, and then my friend Jared, who is with us um, spreading the ashes. We're about to go have dinner at one of her favorite restaurants, Olive Garden. <laughs> um, and... Uh, 